Hello and welcome to quantitative aptitude video from careerlight.com. In this video, we would be dealing with problems on simple interest. Simple interest is very frequently asked in almost all the aptitude examinations conducted across the nation. May it be a bank exam, a government exam or an exam conducted for the entry into a B school. Now, the main intention of this video is to make you comfortable while dealing with the problems from this chapter. Now let's begin. The first question. A sum of money at simple interest amounts to Rs 555 in 3 years and to Rs 640 in 4 years. And we don't know the sum. We have to find out the sum. So simple interest for 1 year is equal to difference of simple interest for 2 years. 640 is the simple interest given for 4 years and 555 for 3 years. So we can clearly see the increment which happens from 3rd year to 4th year that would be 55. So simple interest for 1 year, we have got it. Now we will find out the simple interest for first 3 years. So the simple interest for first 3 years would be SI for 1 year that is 55 into 3 that is 165. Now we know the SI after 3 years that is 165. And the amount after 3 years is 585. So we can clearly get the initial sum on which the simple interest is added and reached the amount which we know as 585. So 585 minus 165 goes up to 420. That is the answer. Second question. Anupam borrowed a sum of rupees 1200 from Bhavik with simple interest for as many years as the rate of interest. Now he received 432 as a simple interest from Anupam at the end of loan period. What was the rate of the interest? Now this thing is clearly shown that the rate and the time are same. So we assume the rate as R% percent and time as R years. Apply the formula. The principal is 1200. So we know the formula. Simple interest is equal to principal into rate into time upon 100. So principal is 1200. Rate is R percent and time is R years. Rate and time are equal. That's why RR. Divided by 100 is equal to 432. He received the simple interest 432. So we get R square is equal to 36. Hence R is equal to 6. So the rate of interest would be 6 percent and the time would be 6 years. Third question, a local financer lends money at simple interest, but he applies his shrewd mind and applies the interest after every six months for calculating the principal. If he charges at an interest of 5%, the effective rate of interest become, we need to find out that. So we'll assume the principal sum be rupees 100 and we'll try and apply that same method which that local financer applies. So we'll we'll uh, exert 0 0.5 on 5 0 0.5 year the 5 percent rate so 100 into 5 into 0 0.5 upon 100 that goes out to 2.5 rupees simple interest we'll add the simple interest on 100 which becomes 102.5 and then again apply 5 percent interest for other six months that is 0 0.5 year so 102.5 into 5 into 0 0.5 which goes up to 2.56 now this again is added to 102.5 so it goes up to 105.06 now the effective rate would be we started with rupees 100 and have reached to 105.6 so it would be 5.06 percent fourth question Anupam lent rupees 6,000 to Bhavik for two years and rupees 2,000 to Sarthak for four years on simple interest and received a sum of 4,000 in all from both of them as interest. Now we have to find out the rate of the interest per annum. We'll assume the rate of interest to be R percent as we don't know it. So we would equate the sum of interest of each of them to total interest periods. Now Anupam lent rupees 6,000 to Bhavik for two years. So 6,000 assumed rate R, 2 years divided by 100. To Sarthak for 4 years and received sum of 4,000. And he received sum of 4,000 and rupees 2,000 to Sarthak for 4 years. So 2,000 
into R into 4 upon 100. At the end, he is receiving the total collated amount as 4000. So we can clearly find out the value of R from this, which would be R is equal to 20. So 20 is the rate of interest here. Last question. Mayank borrows rupees 6000 for 3 years from Sarthak and 4% per at 4% per annum simple interest. He on the same day passed the money to Pulkit at 6% for 3 years. Whatever he takes from Sarthak gives to Pulkit. Here the rate of percent is different just because Mayank wants to earn some gain. We can clearly sense this from question. So find the Mayank's gain in transaction per year. See? Now, the total gain would be what Mayank would earn from Pulkit would be more than what he gives to Sartak. So then only he would be in profit. So what he earns from Pulkit? 6000 into 6 into 3. He gives to Pulkit for 3 years at 6% upon 100. Minus 6000 into 4 into 3 by 100. That is he takes from Sartak at 4% rate. That he increase the rate of percent for Pulkit. The gain would be 360. Now this is for 3 years. What would be his gain for 1 year? So 360 divided by 3 comes up to 120. So Mayang's, Mayang had a gain of rupees 120 per annum. That is the answer. I hope this video on simple interest would prove to be very fruitful and help you gain a lot of confidence when dealing with such problems in future. Thank you.